going to be looking at a function called flexible spot that is in majority of cameras that we see these days especially the um, the mirrorless and the DSLRs um, and what it allows us to do is actually focus on exactly what we want to focus on so in this case if we're photographing a person we want to photograph on their eye and then sometimes if we just have the all of the screen autofocus on it will actually focus on the person's nose because usually most of the time um, your autofocus will choose the subject that's closest to it to actually focus on so we've got a, um, a camera set up here today and we've got a little a Atomos Ninja here which we can actually record the screen so you'll see what I'm seeing and then we'll do some tests and show you what I'm talking about so if we go over to the camera now um, as you can see here we have a few th items set up in front of the actual camera so if we push the button down there to autofocus when we have basically the whole screen as an autofocus point um, it will focus on the bike because that's the biggest item in the actual image at this stage so it'll choose that and has a little bit more contrast on it so it will choose that image by default so but there may be an instance where we have a subject that we don't want to focus on that point that it actually picks and we want to choose the actual um, subject that we want to focus on such as when we do hyperfocal distance when we're doing landscape shots how far into the scene we actually focus on to actually make sure the foreground's in focus and into the distances in focus as well so what we do we actually go into the camera here now we push this button down on this particular camera and then we come down to select or flexible spot it's called on this camera and then we choose we can actually go across here and choose if we want small medium or large in this case we'll just choose small we'll hit enter on the button and now if you can see in the button here you can see a little focus point it's actually going around the screen as I drive it with the joystick so what this allows us to do is if we want to focus on this particular item in the foreground we can actually focus on it push the button down to focus take our image and there it is so that focus is going to be sharp and if we want to come across to the other item here something else in the foreground we can choose that focus on it and take the image and we know that that person or that subject is going to be in focus uh, just do that again zoom in we can see the seats in focus if we go back out and we choose another spot if we come down to to this pole here focus on that take the image and then if we focus in see that's in perfect focus so that's why we use selective spot it's a very powerful tool to get exactly what we wanted to focus and we're not relying on the camera to know what we want to focus on for a particular image so thank you for watching and see you in the next video